Week 7, problem 8. All loops are identical and carry the same current. Use only the symbols greater than or equal to. For example, A. Okay, got it. So we don't use less than. Rank the magnitudes of the net forces acting on the rectangular loops shown below from highest to lowest. Rank the magnitudes of the net torques on the loops. Okay, so start by writing up our equation. So I'm going to leave off the electric field portion because um, we have no electric fields here, so it just be zero. So Q, V cross B. In this case, our um, uh, Qs are electrons, but I'm going to consider current as positive charges moving in a positive direction. It just simplifies things as opposed to saying that electrons are negative charges moving in the negative direction. Oh, all right, so and then we use the, the equation fire incinerates the little bunnies. And look at these loops. All right, so I'm really only gonna do A and C, then I'm just gonna assume that B is in the middle between the two. So, and then we also know that for magnitudes, this cross product right here means sine of theta. So where theta is the angle between the direction of current, the L, and the magnetic field. All right, so we're just gonna do a whole bunch of cross products. All right, so I'm gonna start at the top, right here, right there. All right, so we have, uh, let's go out of the screen, V, or I, same, I gotta use V, V cross B. So it's gonna be upward. So for the top part of this wire, the force is gonna be up, okay? Mm -mm. There we go, up. All right, so now as we go down the wire, it's gonna be V cross B, so it's gonna be out of the board, All right, then as it goes in, we're gonna have B, V cross B, so we're gonna have down. And then as the wire goes up, we're gonna have V, V cross B. So it's then gonna be going into the board. All right, so all of those are in opposite directions of each other. The two up and down currents cancel and the two in and out of the board currents cancel. So the total um, force, net force, on A is gonna be zero. Let's do the same on this guy over here. So when we're coming out of the board, it's gonna be V cross B, which will be upward. And then on the second portion, right over here, we're going to be going into the board, it's going to be V cross B. So it's going to be downward. There we go. And then on the side portion, as the current's going left and right, it's going to be parallel to the magnetic field. Therefore, the sine of theta will be the sine of zero, which will be zero. All right. So, um, so we have the two zero forces, and we have an up force and a down force. So those are also going to cancel out. And hmm, maybe I should actually look at this guy just in case. All right, so when we're going into the board for this guy right here, now it's coming out of the board. So out of the board, V cross B, got up. Yep, yep, this guy, gonna do the same thing, gonna get down. And for this guy going sideways, I'll draw it like this. Then we're gonna get a portion going down, so it'll be V V cross B, all right. V cross B, so it's going to be out of the board. And for the, when it's going the other direction, we're going to have V cross B into the board. So what I did there was I just looked at this as a uh, vector, as this wire is a vector, and decomposed it. And then I ignored the portion right here where the angle between the wire and the uh, magnetic field is zero because that's then the sign of zero which is zero all right so for all of these guys I'm gonna say that a equals B equals C which equals zero excellent okay 
Now we need to rank the magnitudes of the net torques acting on the rectangular loops shown below from high slopes. Okay, so torque equals R cross F. So torque equals R cross F. More cross products. So what we're looking here for for the magnitude is sine of theta. There we go. Perfect. So let's look at these signs here. So for here, I'm going to say the axis of rotation is right here in the middle, right there, right there. So the sine between the radius, which is up and down, and the force, which is up and down, is zero. Or the theta between the two is zero. Therefore, the sine of this zero is going to be zero. Um, when you're going from left to right, um, the radius between that is zero, so it's not going to matter. And there's going to be zero torque on A. I'm going to call this zero torque. All right, now I'm going, to look at C. I'm going to look at C. All right. Up, up. This will be radius. That will be force. R cross F will be R cross F, which will create some torque into the board. R, R cross F. So, yep, that will create some torque into the board. The other direction we're going to have, uh, let's see, be R cross F, R cross F. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. This also says it will be into the board. Okay, I'm good with that. Alright, and then the other sides, eh, should I care about those? No, because there's none. There's zero. Alright, these are the only two forces. This is going to have torque greater than zero. Probably some Miley Cyrus joke in there, but that's too lowbrow for me. Alright. So this is definitely going to have some torque, and I'm going to assume that B will have a middle torque. So I'm going to say here that C, hmm, darn you C, C, that's not C, C greater than B greater than A. And that is how I would approach that problem. Yep, that's all we got for that one. That wasn't too bad. Alright, on to problem number